Okay, guys, next up we're doing Kosoto Gake. This is the most misunderstood move in all of wrestling, okay? All of wrestling. I only ever do Kosoto Gake from the body lock in one particular situation. My partner's shoulders are above his hips or slightly behind, okay? I want his stance open. Look how his legs are wide open. When his legs are wide open, all I gotta do now is strike his Achilles with my heel. If I strike Neil's Achilles with my heel right now, he's gonna fall to the floor, okay? Watch here. If I strike his Achilles to the floor, if I strike his Achilles, he's gonna fall to the floor. All I'm trying to do is take his foot from here and drag it out in a circular fashion towards his toes. Look, if I pull this foot here, my partner's gonna fall to the ground, okay? If my partner's legs are not wide, I don't do kosoto gake. I pull on my partner's body. We said we wanted to get our hips underneath and arch. Look at my wide base. My partner wants to do the same thing I'm doing. He wants to lower his hips. Can you lower your hips? Look how he widens his stance. When he widens his stance, his hips are now lower than mine. If his hips are below mine, guys, trying to do that knee bump, trying to lift him is very difficult, okay? If Neil doesn't want to get thrown, he puts his hips really low. When his hips are lower, I can't get them loaded onto my hips. You can see Neil's exaggerating here just to make things really, really simple, okay? But we're trying to, just put your arm on your back. We're trying to show you that his belt line is lower than mine. You can't lift. How does he lower his belt line? He lowers his belt line by opening his stance. Don't move. Watch how I step in front of him. I step in front of him and I reap in a rotation. I reap. I step out in front and I reap, okay? So watch here, I'm locked onto his body. His shoulders are tipping towards his back, that's perfect. I want his shoulders above his hips and his legs wide. If I have that, if I have those two elements, it's gonna be really easy for me to sweep my partner with the kosoto gake and bring him down to the floor. I have my underhook. I pull and I body lock Neil. And now look, you can see I've put his shoulders slightly behind his hips or just above his hips. Neil is in a white stance. Why is he in a white stance? He wants his hips lower than mine. Why? He doesn't want to get picked up. Neil, can you get in a narrow stance? If Neil's in a narrow stance, now I can lift him and ride him on my hip and start tipping him towards his back. Neil senses this. He starts to lower his center of gravity by opening his stance. When he does so, I'm going to step forward and reap with my right leg. When I reap with my right leg, I'm going to do a, a circular pivot. I'm going to drop to my knees as I do this. Okay, I'm doing it real gently, real slow here, and I capture this leg. I'm doing kosoto gake. I'm here like this. I pull myself in. I get my hips lower than him. I'm trying to lift. My partner starts to sink his hips down to the mat. When he does this, now is the perfect storm for me to, to reap this leg with a kosoto gake. I want to step in a circular fashion. I step out in front. I reap the ankle. I drop to my knees to make sure I stay in contact with my partner. And now I can maintain the top position. I'm here like this. I shoot. My body lock, my partner sinks his hips, he gets his legs wide. I attack that hook and I get down to my knees, okay? If your opponent's feet are not wide and his shoulders not above his, his hips, don't do this move, okay? A lot of times you're gonna get them wide like this and leaning forward. We're gonna see what to do in just a sec, okay? Let's give, give this one a try, let's go.